Look who I got! Say hi, okay? You can follow him on Instagram at okay. Hey Glitter Critters, it's Breland here along with Onkaya. This video has two themes. It's completely edible and I'm also going to be showing you how I did a full set of nails using only edible things. I didn't use any type of non-edible things except to glue the nails on initially and then I made sure I washed them off really well. Also, this is a collaboration with my friend Chrissy from the channel Glamour Life Fox. She's going to show you how to make candy school supplies. It looks delicious. Also, remember to subscribe to her channel and watch her video. I'm going to be sure to post the link at the top of the description below. So make sure you subscribe by clicking the little red subscribe button right below this video to become an official glitter critter. And also you can enable notifications so that way you will get an alert whenever I upload a new video. So let me know in the comments what you think about this video. So now let's go ahead and let's get Get started. Before applying the edible goodies and treats to my nails, I glued on some fake nails because, let's be honest, this video wouldn't be possible without them. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> To start off, I had to make an edible glue, so I used some light corn syrup and I heated it up in the microwave for 30 seconds. And what this does is it makes it really sticky and this is a super strong glue, sort of like a sugar glue. For the miniature donuts, I used Cheerios, yes! And I glued them on with the edible glue that I made out of the corn syrup and I decided to pile them up because I wanted them to look like a dozen of those beautiful California donuts. And then I began decorating. So I put a little bit of corn syrup on top of this one, added some powdered sugar so it could be like one of those powdered sugar donuts. Those are so delicious. I'm obsessed with those. I'm creating one of my favorite donuts ever which is the pink frosted donut with the rainbow sprinkles. So I try to use super tiny sprinkles so that way the big ones wouldn't overpower the little miniature donuts and this one came out so amazing. This was my favorite one. I continued to decorate the donuts and I have to say this was one of my favorite parts was just sitting there and decorating all the donuts getting really creative especially because I have like a million sprinkles. I also made this really cute sugary donut and I used some cereal just like the real California donuts does like they use actual fruity pebbles on their donuts. So I crunched up these fruity pebbles and I just stuck them to the icing on top of this donut and it's super colorful and fun. Then I just added sprinkles and different patterns and I really had a lot of fun with this one. <laughs> this juicy cake pop, I just used some pre-made fondant that I purchased at Party City. I rolled it into a ball and I sort of molded it around the fake nail. Then after that, I stuck it with one of these little sticks here. This is just basic lollipop sticks. And then I cut it so that way it wasn't super long. And after gluing it onto the nail with some of that corn syrup glue, I took some blue Funfetti frosting and just applied this all over the little fondant ball that I created. The last and obvious step is applying sprinkles. And I say applying like it's nail polish or something. I just plopped on some rainbow sprinkles. <laughs> <laughs> To make the scoop of ice cream, I just rolled some of that pre-made fondant into a ball and then I used a toothpick to sort of flare out the edges and shape it to the perfect ice cream shape. Next, I used some Hershey's chocolate cocoa powder and I mixed it with a little bit of water to create the delicious chocolate syrup on top of the ice cream. This really just made it look like the ice cream had fallen onto my nail and the syrup was kind of melting and pouring off of it. Now it's time for cone creation, which isn't really that exciting. I just used some more of that pre-made fondant, rolled it into a cone shape, and I decided because it looked kind of blah, I wanted to give it some more definition. So I added a little bit of that chocolate on it. I was going to draw on the lines, but then I just gave up and just rolled some of the chocolate on it. 
Last, I squished it onto the nail and added a little bit more frosting. <laughs> <laughs> do y'all remember the Walmart smiley face from the 90s? I know I do. So, <laughs> I'm an idiot, I know. So to make this, it's pretty much the same concept as the cake pop. I just molded it around the nail and glued it on with corn syrup. And next, I added a stick and used some gel food coloring to draw on the smiley. This one was super easy to make and fun. Smile. <laughs> <laughs> to make this delicious cotton candy nail, slash nails if you want to make more. I used this really pretty straw and I glued it on with corn syrup and then I used real cotton candy, rolled it into a ball and shaped it around the stick and then I just glued it on with some corn syrup. Let me know in the comments what you think and don't forget to subscribe to become an official glitter critter so you never miss another video like this. Also don't forget to go and check out Chrissy from Glamour Life Fox. I'll be sure to post her link at the top of the description below. So that's all for this video. Thank you so much for watching and have a glitterful day. I love you. Bye. <laughs>